between curry shrimp and this is a quick dinner or supper. It takes 15 minutes for prep and another 20 minutes to 25 minutes, half an hour in all from start to finish. I'm using tiger shrimp, large tiger shrimp, and you can use whatever size shrimp you want. But, but this is a pound, so you should use a pound of shrimp. So I've seasoned it with some curry powder, black pepper, and salt. Here we have some julienne, um, re, um, bell pepper, and I've used four different colors, quarter of each bell pepper, medium bell pepper, but you can use one one color bell pepper whatever is convenient for you I just do this so that it's colorful and appetizing here I've got two tablespoons of oil olive oil veg or any vegetable oil I'm heating in the frying pan and to that I'm going to add one small onion chop And I'm going to add three cloves of garlic stock. There goes the onion and the garlic saute. Now I'm going to add salt and curry powder. Bell pepper. I'll be using a cup of water and all. Half of it is to mix with the cornstarch, and I'm going to put half in there. I've mixed the coconut milk and the ketchup together, and I'm adding them now. Next addition is the shrimp, the goodie shrimp. I'm going to add um, a couple of drops of hot pepper sauce. Shouldn't be more than a teaspoon. That should be just right. So, put this on top. Some thyme, fresh thyme. Sprig of fresh thyme. I'll cover it and let it simmer for five minutes. Then I'll check to see what's going on. Now oh, I'm adding the cornstarch. Curry shrimp. I'm going to tell you, try your best not to overcook the shrimp because they will get hard and rubbery. So do not cook them for more than five minutes, six minutes the most. And um, you'll have a perfect curry shrimp like we have here. Here we have it, curry shrimp, ready to be served with steam rice. So you should have your rice going in your rice cooker while this is being done so that you can go ahead and have it steaming hot.